Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your birth chart in Capricorn. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna use these cards for whatever reason. This is an Oracle card deck. It's called Spiritual Instinct. Let's see what's going on between you and your person. What's going on between Capricorn and their person spirit? Whoever Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with currently in love. What's the current situation between Capricorn and their person? The person they're connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, here we go. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn and their person. First card we have here is allowing access. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I have nothing to hide. Allowing access. What does that mean? I don't know. Open. Someone is allowing an open door here. Someone is opening the door for someone to re-enter their life or wanting that oh yeah emotionally immature don't know how to treat you a disconnect lacks presence yeah emotionally immature some of you are dealing with an emotionally immature person and this person wants you to allow them access to you again because it feels like you denied them access. All right, let's get one more. What's going on between Capricorn and their person? What's the current situation? Yearning, missing you, thinking about the good times. I never had someone like you. Someone is yearning, yearning for you. Desiring you, missing you, Capricorn. You see, I told you, I feel like you denied someone access and they want you to allow them access to you again. All right, but this person's emotionally immature. And they're a show off. It says show off. Floss money, flexing, ego, cheapskate, tight with money. So this person might be very arrogant. They like attention. They're all about themselves. Yeah. More than anything, they like attention, it feels. All right. And they're very insecure. That's why they feel, that's why they need so much attention because they need constant validation. They feel inferior. Deep down inside, they feel inferior and um, they have a low self-esteem. Okay. Let's go to the tarot cards. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Capricorn? How is this person currently feeling about Capricorn? The person Capricorn is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so in regards to their current feelings for you, first card we have here is, ooh, the Knight of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. The Two of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Hierophant is at the bottom. Hierophant, the Moon, Queen of Swords, Emperor. Hmm. This definitely feels like your energy, so I want to keep that. All right. Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom here, too. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. So in regards to their current feelings, they're not doing anything here. They're not doing much. They're watching you, stalking you, spying on you. And they're trying to decide with the two of pentacles here if they should pursue you, if they should chase you or not with the knight of wands energy. Because look at you kind of in this hiding energy, you know? Queen of swords and the moon. I mean, not that you're not necessarily that you're hiding, you're just not, you know, you're not contacting this person, you're not talking to them. You're not making your presence known. You're not allowing them access to you. You're you're keeping them in the dark. You're maintaining distance. And this person is wondering about you. They're wondering what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. But you're keeping it all to yourself and it looks kind of strategic, Capricorn. It does feel like that. You see this combination here? Let me show you. Look at this combination here with the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon. This looks kind of strategic. It looks like you're st strategically being very um, evasive, elusive, you know, non-communicative. Hmm. So you're kind of testing this person because we have the hero font here. It looks like you want to see if this person is going to do the right thing or not. Yeah, you're testing them. You're testing them to see if this person is going to do the right thing or not. You're waiting, you're waiting because you know this person is going to come towards you at some point. You know it, right? You, you, that's not a secret to you. You know very well that this person is at some point going to reach out to you or try to chase you and pursue you. So you're waiting for that to happen. But you are going to be paying a lot of attention to this person and you're going to be studying this person. Because you want to know exactly what this person is going to do. I feel like you're prepared for this person. You seem to be a little bit um, in the dark as well with the moon energy. So it does look like you're not exactly sure what to anticipate um, from this person. Yeah, you don't know exactly what to anticipate. I feel like you're in this energy of, I wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to do the right thing? Or are they going to um, lie to me again? Are they going to try to deceive me again? Or are they going to actually, um, you know, learn the lesson and, and come towards me correctly with honesty and truth? So you don't know how they're going to come towards you, but you know they're coming towards you and you're prepared for that. And this is a test. A t okay, a test for what though? I don't know. Let's clarify that. All right, your energy is interesting, Capricorn. Well, let me look at that first here. Tell me about Capricorn's energy here with the Emperor, Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Hierophant. Why is Capricorn in this energy towards this towards their person currently? Why is Capricorn currently in this energy towards their person? Yeah. 
It looks like you're ready to cut this person off also. Like, you know, at the, at the slightest hiccup. The slightest hiccup. You know, the littlest wrong word that they speak to you. I feel like you're ready to cut them off. Cut them out. It's like, they just need to breathe. Like, if you just breathe in the wrong way, in my direction, I'm cutting you out. You know, it's something like that. It feels like that. Like, you're, very, you're really scrutinizing this person, you know? You're picking this person apart, and you're, you're really going to study them and watch them closely. Hmm. So it's like whatever they do next is what's going to determine what actions you're going to take towards this person in this relationship, you know? But you're waiting for them to take action first and then whatever whatever action they take from from there from there you'll decide and you'll determine if you're going to keep this connection or if you're going to get rid of it. All right, I don't, maybe I don't need to clarify. I think I just clarified, clarified it myself. <laughs> but let's see what comes out here. Why is Capricorn in this energy towards their person? Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, oh boy, this person's in trouble. This is what you're looking for. This is what you want. You want this Ace of Pentacles. You want this person to come towards you with a real solid offer for a real solid, stable commitment relationship. Yikes. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You're not playing around, Capricorn. You are not playing around. Not this time, you're not. Not saying that you were playing around before, but I do feel like you were kind of, um, I don't know, lenient with this person, right? The moon can be, can be kind of um, lenient. Like you let this person get away with some things, you know? You let some things slide, some, some things that this person did or whatever, in whatever way they behaved or acted, you know, you let it slide a, a couple of times, many times perhaps. But it does look like you're very, you're very firm here and you're very grounded in, in your convictions in what you expect and desire from this person. And you're not bargaining here. You're not open to bargaining or negotiating in any way. It's this or it's nothing. It's commitments or it's nothing. And this person is showing up as the Knight of Wands. That's not commitment energy, that's a player energy. All right, well, let's see what this person's going to do here. Let's look more at your person's energy here. <clears throat> so their current feelings for you is the Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Let's look into that. I want to start with the Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Spirit, why is this person's um, current feelings for Capricorn the Page of Swords? They definitely want to talk with you. They want to have a conversation with you. Yeah, you're placing boundaries here. 
you're placing strong boundaries with this person. All right. Why is this? Why is the Page of Swords this person's current feelings for Capricorn? We have Six of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Swords. Look at this person like challenging you. Look at that, Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Defiant, right? This is someone who's rebellious, defiant, challenging you for sure. Yeah, this is someone who's been trying to get away with um, being in a relationship with you, but also being free at the same time, being free and single at the same time. You know, having options while at, the, while at the same time being in a relationship with you. They've been trying to get away with that. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles spirit. Okay, so this person has been testing you. For sure. And now you're testing them. Now it's the other way around. Why is the Two of Pentacles this person's current feelings for Capricorn? Spirit, thank you. Three of Cups, oh boy. Look at that. Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's a third party. That's definitely a third party. I already got that energy from the Two of Pentacles, but this is just confirmation. This person has been juggling you with other people, with one person or, or more than one person. And now they're forced to make a decision because you're forcing them to make a decision. Otherwise, you're going to cut them out of your life. Oh, this just got intense. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, Spirit. Why is this person's current feelings for Capricorn, the Knight of Wands? We have the death card. Yeah, death is all about transformation. That's what this person would need to do in order to be with you. They would need to like completely transform, like completely change their lifestyle. You know? 100% transformation. Tell me more about the night of... Um, Wands. Why is this person's current feelings for Capricorn, the Knight of Wands? Yeah, look at that, the Hierophant. The Death card and the Hierophant. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on, this is interesting. What about this energy spirit? What about the Hierophant? Tell me more about this. In regards to the Knight of Wands. Why is this this person's current feelings for Capricorn? Ten of Wands. King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. They want you to change. Okay, so this is your energy. I got it. They want you to change your mind. Ooh, look at the lovers at the bottom. Um, there's a very strong, you know, connection here between you and this person. Um, there's a magnetic connection here between you two. With the lovers, you feel, you obviously feel very drawn to this person with the moon card. Even though this is someone who's, who doesn't, who doesn't rise up to your worth, you know? This is someone who is not 
what you're looking for at all. They're not what you're looking for. They don't have any of the characteristics of what you're looking for in regards to, you know, having someone by your side who's stable and committed and loyal. This person doesn't have any of that, and yet you still feel very connected and drawn to them, you know. You still have a lot of emotions here for this person. So it doesn't really make sense. It's like a connection that doesn't make sense, but it's like you just feel it, you know. Look at that. The lovers, justice, empress. Yeah, I feel like you want to commit to this person. You want to have a real relationship with this person. You, you love them with the lovers card. And the empress card. You feel a lot of love for them. You don't, you might not know why. You know, you might not know exactly why you feel so attached and connected. But it's like you can't help it, you know. Eight of Swords, it's like you can't help it. So it's been it's been hard for you to distance yourself and walk away from this person or like put up boundaries with this person. It's been hard for you to do that. So this person is coming towards you wanting to um wanting to stop you from walking away, wanting to stop you from leaving them. Let's look at their intentions cuz I'm not seeing that here. Let's see. All right, um, spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current intentions with Capricorn? Yeah, thank you, okay. I'm gonna use the same deck. All right. All right, here we go. What are this person's current intentions with Capricorn spirit? Here we go. What are this what are this person's current intentions with Capricorn? We have the Knight of Swords to the Empress to the Three of Swords. Uh, they're not happy. They're not happy with your decision to put up boundaries and to, you know, distance yourself and separate yourself. Like they're not happy with that decision at all. This person looks like they've been like comfortable in this relationship for a while. Like they've been, it looks like they've been enjoying this relationship or this connection with you for a while. And it does feel like they've been, you know, very laid back and just kind of taking it, taking it easy. Um, hmm. I don't feel like you had boundaries with this person um, from the beginning. That's not how they're showing themselves. I feel like this person is, this person is looking at you like you're switching up on them, honestly. That's what I feel. They, they're looking at you like, like you've become a different person, like, like you totally switched up on them. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, again, they want to stop you. Their intention is to try to convince you to stop you from leaving them. Tell me more about what are this person's current intentions with Capricorn. The devil, oh boy. The world, 
the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, two kings and one queen, two of swords here. Yeah. Look at that. Page of Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. Capricorn, this person is still in that same energy of being a player. No. This person is not changing. They're not changing. They're still trying to get away with being back together with you and continuing to be the same person in regards to, you know, being a player and um, being free and, you know, having a no-strings-attached relationship and keeping their options open um, and just being in and out of your life whenever they please, whenever they want to. They're trying to, they, this person has confidence. Man, they're confident. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get rid of this person's confidence, you know? It's hard to break this person's confidence. Like, they're, they are stubborn when it comes to, you know, what they want to achieve. And I feel like that's what this person wants to achieve. They want to achieve, you know, convincing you to, to, to be back together with them or for you to take them back, but with no conditions. Just completely free to do as they please. I don't know why this person thinks they can pull it off. That, that's bizarre to me. That, that sounds bizarre. But for some reason, this person feels, they still feel, at least right now, currently, Maybe later on it'll change, but right now they still feel confident that they can pull it off, that they can get, that they'll be able to achieve what they want with you, to be with you and be free and single at the same time. So this person's still testing you, basically. Basically, they're still testing you. This person still has battery, battery left in them. Hmm. I want to see what's going to happen here. Yeah, so Capricorn, just expect that. They're going to be reaching out. They are going to be pursuing you. Um, but it's going to be in that same energy. And they're the same energy that you don't like. And they're still going to be with the objective of being with you and being single at the same time. They're still going to be carrying that objective. All right. I want to see what's going to end up happening here. Hmm. Let's, take a, let's take a look at their actions. Um, moving forward into the future. What actions will this person take towards Capricorn moving forward into the future, Spirit? Moving forward, further up ahead into the future. What actions will this person be taking towards Capricorn? regards to their actions what actions will they be taking towards Capricorn judgment to the hangman to the knight of cups and the strength card to the seven of wands and the emperor to the queen of swords and the six of swords and the ten of swords five of cups and the ace of swords empress at the bottom Whew. My God. Mm 
mm -mm. no yeah this person is not going to um give in to this transformation that they need to do in order for them to be with you they're not going to give in so easily this person is going to retaliate they're going to um rebel they're going to fight against having to make any changes but they're also going to fight to try to keep you okay And I feel like this is you having to, again, repeat yourself again with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. Also, um, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. I feel like this is you having to repeat yourself again to this person about what you need from them, what you're expecting from, expecting from them. You know what they what they need to do in order for them to um, keep you in their life. I feel like you're going to be very crystal clear with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, because they're going to try, and I feel like you're going to be in this energy of no. I said no. I said no. No is no. If you're not going to commit, if you're not going to take this relationship seriously, if you don't want a long-term stable relationship with me, then the answer is no. And I'm not changing that answer. Because this person wants to change you. They want to change you. They want to convince you to change your, your position, your stance. your, you know, your demands. Because this is not you requesting them to change. This is you demanding them to change. It's not a request, you know. You're not asking them, you're telling them. And I feel like that's what this person doesn't understand. It's not a request. It's not something up for debate. It's yes or no, you know? It's very kind of black, black and white. You're either with me or you're not with me. You can't be with me and, and with somebody else at the same time, or you can't be here and there at the same time. You know, a clear-cut decision needs to be made. This person is trying to break you. They're going to try to break you. They're going to try to break your, you know, your convictions. Your, your thought process. Your mentality. Your perspective. Your sense of worth, ultimately. But I don't see that happening. I see you in this energy of, no, I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. And if, I, and if I have to end this relationship, then I have to end this relationship. But I'm not, because you had the moon energy, and here we have that five of cups energy, so... Again, I feel like there's, there was a very, there was a back and forth relationship between you and this person. And I think that it's, it still can be that way. But this time, this time you're different, this time you're following through. You're following through with what you're with what you're telling them. Okay, I want to see what's gonna happen. So yeah, in regards to their actions, they're gonna keep trying. Um, like I said, Capricorn. So just expect that. 
They're going to keep trying to kind of um, get their way here with you. What's the ultimate outcome between um, Capricorn and this person, Spirit? Moving forward, further up ahead into the future. Where will things ultimately lead between or head between Capricorn and this person? What's the outcome here? You're disappointed, Capricorn. You are, yeah. Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You're going to be disappointed here with this person. I feel like you were really hoping this person would um, change, not only for you or for the relationship, but for themselves, you know, as well. Because they're also hurting themselves. They're not, they're not just hurting you. All right. What's the ultimate outcome here between Capricorn and this person moving forward into the future spirit? Thank you. Four of Pentacles to the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, High Priestess, Ten of Cups, Fool, Ten of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Oh boy. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'm just going to be honest with what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. I feel like the ultimate outcome here is that you're going to get your happily ever after. But I really don't think it's with this person. However, I do feel like this person is going to watch you. I do feel like they're going to be a witness to you having your happily ever after with somebody else. And I definitely feel like there is regret here for this person. They're going to end up alone. You know, King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. They're definitely going to end up alone. Their freedom is not going to serve them for anything. Their freedom and their... Um, their singlehood, it's not going to serve them from it for anything. It's not going to make them happy, you know? Their happiness was with you. You were that opportunity for them to be happy, but they didn't, they didn't see that. They didn't embrace that. They didn't take advantage of that blessing, of that privilege. But the thing is that you're going to find someone so much better, and you're going to have that commitment that you deserve. And they're definitely going to be watching with the Seven of Swords, okay? They're gonna, somehow, somewhere, they're going to be a witness to you moving on and having that, that happy future, that happy relationship that you deserve. Okay, so Capricorn, that's what I see. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.